Morning. I've um, got a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. So apologies for the delay on this. It's um, about blinds and whether or not blinds can or cannot be reclaimed. So here we go then. We've had some information from HMRC eventually and um, it's not definitive as such but and also it's not good news but it's uh, at least it gives us something to go on and i'll give you a little bit of background to this blinds as a rule could not be reclaimed but there was a court case about 18 months two years ago and the judge felt that blinds and the, how blinds work today that they are specific to each property and that they would not be picked up and taken with you to the next house as blinds would have been in say the 70s if you're old enough to remember those then uh, it was felt that blinds now qualified initially hmrc were paying out on blinds but in more recent times they've started refusing them again and now they have come up with a bit of documentation so this is what they've given me and you'll have to bear with me because i'm going to read this and then give my opinion on what they're looking at and so forth okay so uh <clears throat> to allow a refund of blinds they must meet the definition of incorporated for vat purposes and it refers you to vat notice 708 13.3 if you did want to go and look at that the meaning of incorporated an article is incorporated in a building or its site when it's fixed in such a way that it's fixing or removal would either require the use of tools or result in either the need of remedial work to the fabric of the building or its site or su sustainable damage to the goods themselves. So, OK, so they're saying that the blinds need to be um, <clears throat> something that you either need a screwdriver or a tool to get rid of or it's going to cause damage if you were to remove it. So, okay, yeah, I get that. Let's move on and see what they say next. To expand on this, the blinds themselves need to be incorporated in this manner. So if the blinds can be easily detached from the fittings, which the majority of blinds can, and this, this, is, um, this is quite relevant, then the blinds do not qualify for a refund. The fixtures that the blinds are attached to are eligible for a refund so the blinds that i have in my house which i assume are the type of thing that most people have is uh you've got a track across the top and i'm looking behind me here at one now with um the fabric that sits inside the track and you can unhook the fabric reasonably easy from the actual track itself so what they are now saying is is that the fabric doesn't qualify because you can easily remove it, but the track itself would qualify because you need a screwdriver to remove it and it's going to leave holes which need filling and repairing and so forth. But in my experience, the vast majority of these blinds are just sold as a unit, window one, unit two, or blinds this size and so on and so on. So, okay, let's see what else they say. So an invoice would need to be item would need to itemize the blinds and fixtures separately. If the blinds are on one fixed unit and cannot be removed from the fixtures, then these are considered incorporated and can be refunded in full. Yes, okay, so I was on the right path. So they either need to be one unit complete, and you're going to need to back this up with photographs. So they cannot be removed from that metal or plastic runner uh, across the top or that they are billed separately so they you, you get a bill for the runner and then a bill for the fabric and then if that is the case you can only bill for the run you can only claim for the runner not the actual fabric that can be easily removed only incorporated blinds are allowable for a vat refund this means that the blinds must not be able to be easily detached from the housing the runner. 
If you believe your blinds are fitted as one unit and cannot be removed from the fitting housing runner, please submit a supplementary claim. Well, that's not right. Uh, and include photographs of the blinds and fittings. Ah, I see what they say. So they're going to automatically refuse these and ask you to resubmit with photographs. So they'll review a blinds invoice on merit at each, or at each time you submit. If your blinds are not eligible for a refund, you may be able to claim for the fittings the runner where these are shown separately on the invoice, which to my knowledge doesn't happen, guys. If your invoice does not itemize the blinds and fittings separately, please contact your supplier to see if they can itemize the blinds to enable you to claim. And then it, again, it refers you to 708.13.3. So examples of what can and can't be accepted. So on this first one, the wooden blinds that you can see there, uh, these blinds and fixtures are one unit. To remove the blinds, you need to remove the fixtures. So there's a bit of framework on that. So it's, it's one unit that sort of fits in square into the window. Now... OK, so so those would would be claimable in their entirety. So the middle photograph is what I would call a roller blind. And the third photograph, the one with the grey drop down blind, are the type of thing that I was referring to. These types of blinds can easily be removed from the fixtures and are not incorporated. Only the fixtures themselves are eligible for a refund. So again, they go back to say uh, that the... Those types of things, if you see there, you can unclip, we'll use the middle photograph, you can probably unclip the roller, and on the right-hand photo, the grey drop-down blind, you can unclip those the fabric blind. So you can only claim for the runner, the bit that's screwed in. But in my opinion, these things do not, um, do not get billed separately. I might be speaking out of turn, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So the other thing that jumps out to me as a problem here is the supply and fit rule. A lot of people would get these blinds supplied and fitted. So how does that work? They're saying resubmit the supplementary claim. They're going to make a judgment on each um, on each application on merit. So you're going to have to go to the blind shop and say that blind qualifies that one doesn't can you bill me separately for this and this and you don't pay me the charge me the vat or in the case of a new build or in the case of a conversion you only charge me five percent this is a bit messy guys um so i don't really want to say you can't claim for your blinds although i'm quite close to saying that um I'm probably in a similar place to fitted wardrobes on this now, where you're pretty much better off in your mindset thinking you can't get it back. In relation to supply and fit, um, I'm going to have a ponder about that. I've actually got one idea at the moment. If you want to know more about that, maybe the best thing is to give me a bell, reach out to me, give me a ring, and we can have a chat about it. So... Um, I uh, thank you for your time today. If you found this useful, please a like to the video would be fantastic. Uh, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free, guys. And thanks for this today.